So what is, what is this? Okay, this is the shallow dexterous hand, and it's a uh, anatomically correct robot hand that we've developed. And the idea is that it mimics the human hand. So if an operator wears a glove, he's able to do everything that a uh, normal human would, but he's yeah. not in a dangerous situation. So things. So like I can shake his hands. So yeah, I've just it. broken this joint. But, but you did. That's okay. But if I, if I do it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's scary. Oh. And this is uh, like ticklish too. Oh, okay. And so you're doing it and it does exactly the same, right? Yeah. Okay. And so, so what's the use, basically? So the, uh, the idea behind developing it was to basically take the operator out of the dangerous situation. So things like bomb disposal, uh, hazardous materials handling, anything where you need a skilled operator but you don't want to put them in... Uh... Careful! <laughs> Okay, so it's like Avatar, except you just have one hand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you can have two hands. <laughs> you could have two hands. There's a university in Germany that we sold to. So yeah. I have a left hand and a right hand. Are there any like sex applications to this? No, uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's a marital aid. That's cool. Yeah. And so, yeah. and so you sell this, and you're you're what? A European company? Uh, we're based in London. Yeah. Oh, okay. And so you you sell this to. Uh, to industrial, it's, um, it's really like a head, right? it's amazing. You even put nails in there. Yeah, that's just a pretty big bag. Uh, <laughs> that's amazing. The, uh, how much R&D did you, like, like what was the cost to do that? It's really hard to say. I mean, basically, not that I can't, it's just we've been developing this for maybe 10 years now. Yeah. Uh, this version maybe for three years. So the company has gradually grown over that time. So there's... But so give me an, an example of a customer who uses it in a very cool way. Um, okay, so we're we're doing some work with the counter-terrorism centre. Yeah. Uh, counter-terrorism. Yeah, in England. So they bought one of our hands and they've mounted it on a robot arm and they're doing different grasping tasks to see how accurately it can mimic humans. It's so cool that as you speak it's uh, moving. <laughs> what do you call this? Uh, this is a data glove. So in the all of these strips you see on the back yeah. are bend sensors. So basically as I bend that, it sends a signal to the computer which then relays it back and to what, is this what do you have in there? You it's have a just a standard Oh, computer. but you have a wire, it's not wireless. You can get wireless versions, but the wired versions are much more reliable for demos. Ah. <laughs> and what, you have a laser here or something? No, no, it's just a... Uh, oh, okay, I thought you had a weapon now. No, no, no. no. <laughs> okay. What, what is it called whereby that is mimicked by that? Uh, teleoperation. Teleoperation? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so terrorism. I'm, I was, I'm sorry. So they use that to open bombs, or uh, in the moment, it's basically a research project that they're running. Yeah. So um, look, hey, if you do this, it's gonna like. There we go. <laughs> you see, don't give it a finger. You shouldn't do just, that. Just grab it. So okay. grab it. Grab it. Uh, How does it feel? Uh, you see, is it like uh, an Israeli uh, girl? No. Uh. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I'd do it with an empty glass, but I just don't trust it that much. It would be easier with one like that. I bet you love that, don't you see? Uh, we're also doing some work with the European Space Agency. Uh, so they have um, a thing called the Eurobot, which they want to put on the International Space Station. So they're doing quite a lot of trials at the moment of different types of manipulators uh, that they might want to use. So, um, yeah, we're right here with them. Just playing, basically. Cool. Well, great. Thanks very much. No worries. When can I have uh, one home uh, to play with? If you have 110,000 euros, you can have one right now. 100 euros or 100,000 euros. Yeah. I have 100 euros. <laughs> cool. Thanks. No and what's the company name? Uh, the Shadow Robot Company. Thanks.